find the perimeter of the figure. Here we're given a poly polygon, you know, it's a multi-sided and straight-sided object. So perimeter is actually the distance around the figure. If you were to travel along the edge of the figure and, and making sure that you begin at one point and return back to that same point, what you'll find is uh, and by the time you travel the distance along the edge back to the same point where you started, you will have determined how far that you've traveled. So I choose a starting point like this red point where, at the, uh, where two sides meet and form an angle and then for myself I travel clockwise, the direction that the hands of a clock travel. So then uh, the perimeter is of course uh, y y we add up all the sides. If for a straight sided object to find uh, perimeter, perimeter is is equal to uh, adding up all the sides. Let's just make it easy. Adding up all the side, all the side lengths, all the lengths of each side, all the lengths of the sides. So perimeter equals. We're ready to just be systematic. First I'm going to count this side, five units. We're going from here to here. To get us to the next angle and the next intersection of two sides, we will have traveled five units. Then we're going to have traveled through to get to the next intersection, the next angle of the polygon, we will have traveled seven more units. That's what it is. We're adding up the lengths of all the sides. If I walk this distance, I will have walked eight units of distance plus we're going to walk this amount of distance which is you know we've gone eight the last time this time we're going nine units nine units long or far however you see the distance and look here's the last stretch we will have traveled to get back to our starting point we finally finished by walking three units of distance so this is the uh, way that we get it you know I'd probably just add these up in my head you know or what might be better just line them up vertically 5 plus 7 plus 8 if you were to do this without a calculator plus 9 plus 3 this will give us the column method actually gives us a place for numbers that carry over we'll see what happens 5 plus 7 is 12 12 plus 8 is 20, 20 plus 9 is 29, 29 plus 3 is 32. Now notice that the word units appears to the right of these numbers. For this problem we would write the word units. If units were you know 5 feet, 7 feet, 8 feet, 9 feet, 3 feet, units would actually be feet. But units when they're given to us this way, units are part of the answer. So when we go over here to look for the proper answer, we find that the answer is 32 units. Units of length, units of distance, okay, in general, nothing specific.